Six Weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AztecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast on this rainy Friday evening. Looking north from one shoreline, there's stormy clouds off into San Patricio County. Uh, down to the south, uh, one shoreline uh, there indicating uh, gray clouds coming over uh, Corpus Christi and uh, much of uh, the uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi uh, campus. And on uh, SPID, you can see traffic flowing smoothly over the wet roads. Drive careful if you're going to be out this evening. Plan on rain, which so far today, as expected, is heaviest along the coast with generally lower values inland, although Alice has now picked up 1.23 inches of rain and nearby Robstown has only had 1300 so big difference there flash flood watch for the entire area through tomorrow evening means that flooding is possible in any given location in the coastal bend flash flood warning is out for uh, parts of uh, central and south central Nueces County that's for uh, ponding water that we're seeing on area roadways and low line areas. Again, it's not horrible. We're not uh, talking about any rescues or anything like that, but the ground is saturated here and the city unfortunately is very prone to flooding for various reasons. Small craft advisories and high rip current risk along the coast and in the offshore waters. Everybody should stay in until this is over. You can see the moisture working in along the coast and again, kind of in a counterclockwise fashion. That's because this is a broad area of low pressure that did not develop into a tropical depression today or a minimal tropical storm. But nonetheless, as we've been saying, the primary feature with this was going to be rain. And we're sure getting it now, a lot of it from uh, Houston all the way down to about Harlingen, even uh, south into Mexico. But here's the rain across the city. Again, very sloppy tonight, heavier activity uh, out here to the west and north of 44, south of Mathis. And uh, that is the area that's seen some real heavy downpours. Also west of Premont, uh, down towards Riolitos, so they're getting some heavy rain too with the uh, area of low pressure now coming ashore in Vest 95L. This is uh, down near Port Mansfield. And again, the counterclockwise circulation around this is sending the clouds off to the west. So thank goodness it didn't develop. We didn't have to deal with any wind, even 30, 40 miles an hour. We don't have to deal with that, just the rain that it's producing. And uh, so the Hurricane Center saying low chance of development. I'm saying no chance of development in the next 48 hours. So that's uh, moving on in. We are just going to see uh, highly likely uh, more rain here and some of that is going to cause flooding because we're already saturated and because of uh, drainage problems. Northwest at 8, that's the movement of this right now. It has 30 mile an hour winds, but that's not bad. The uh, heaviest of rain is out in the Gulf and this plume of moisture indicated in bright red and orange here and even yellow is going to move over South Texas tonight and tomorrow morning and that's where the heaviest of rain will come from. We haven't seen it yet, but uh, you always have that when the low uh, crosses the coast or when the storm system crosses the coast. And that was always supposed to be today and that's exactly what's happening right now. The wind shear, not much wind shear as this comes ashore, but uh, as you can see, lots of wind shear out here tomorrow morning as it's already inland, so no chance of development. And then that low will track off to the west and with the wind shear going on, that means our weather will improve dramatically here in the coastal bend. So the timeline on this looks like this. Widespread heavy rain and flash flooding late tonight. Starting at midnight, heaviest rainfall and flash flooding till about mid-morning. Rain moving inland tomorrow afternoon, more scattered along the coast. In other words, less uh, we'll see. So the system's on the coast, no chance of development, higher than normal tides, locally heavy rain and flooding, average two to six inches of rain and improving a lot by Sunday. And you can see it kind of swirling around through the region here overnight and tomorrow morning. That's going to be the worst of it. Here's your NEC Co-op Energy seven day forecast. And 74 tonight, 85 with heavy rain overnight and mainly tomorrow morning. Only isolated showers Sunday in 89, very humid and hotter here Monday through Friday. May see a couple showers Wednesday and Thursday of next week, but nothing like tonight and tomorrow morning. Lee, Jennifer, stay dry. All right.